Hi everyone, on today's video I'm going to teach you how to use the Sunny F16 rule. It's pretty easy if you ask me. You only have to memorize five numbers and these numbers are these. Sunny F16. Well, let's imagine you have this situation with a uh, blue sky, bright sunlight during the summertime. So, Sunny F16, F16 is going to be. If the sky gets a little bit cloudy, like this one, well, F11. F8 is when the sky is totally overcast. I mean, no blue sky on the horizon. F5.6 is gonna be when the sky is really darker, i.e. a thunderstorm is coming, or you are in the shadow of a building. F5.6. And last but not least, F4. F4 is gonna be useful at the end of the day when the light is getting dimmer. And that's basically it. But wait, you're gonna ask? You only talked about apertures. What about the shutter speed? Well, it's all so easy. You only have to match the shutter speed with your ISO sensitivity of your film. Like this, for example. 200 ISO, well, a shutter speed of one over 250. 400 ISO film, well, a shutter speed of one over 500. And that's basically it. Well, obviously you don't have to get stuck with these values. You can use the reciprocity law. For instance, here, I wanted the fast shutter speed to freeze the movement, and I just used um, the reciprocity law. So, one over 125 at F11 is also 250 F8, 500, 5.6, 1000 F4. And these are the values I used to freeze the movement on this picture. It's also very useful if your camera doesn't have an internal light meter like this one and you don't have the luxury of owning a separate handheld light meter like this one. It's also very helpful if you want to work fast. You see, this Tesla car, when I saw it, I said, well, it looks like I'm gonna need an aperture of four. So I set an aperture of four on my lens and I took the shot. If I was fiddling around with a handheld light meter or any other thing, the car would have been long gone. And it works just fine. Don't think I rely on post-production tricks. These are my negatives from the video on the Exacta. And you can see that all the negatives have an even density all over the place. The Sony F16 rule, it just works. So if you have a camera that doesn't have a built-in light meter, maybe it's time to practice the Sony F16. And you can do it with a camera that has a built-in light meter inside. Just check if your assumptions are correct and with experience, you're gonna be able to nail it every time. Anyways, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, see you later, alligators.